Warning, this video is not for those under the age of 13. Viewers should be accompanied by a parent or guardian. Thank you and enjoy. ZL Entertainment Greetings boys and girls, I'm Jack Dion from ZL Entertainment and today we are here doing something interesting. I just found out about this. I am going to be very quick about this. I'm hoping for a 10 minute video. Most people that I've only seen two videos doing this and they're always like thinking about things. What I want to do is actually do my very kind of very first thought. Try to not spend too much time on it. Just like what's my initial thought? This is the moral machine. Apparently it's been around for a few years. Um, I have not heard about this until just yesterday. So, yeah. Welcome to the Moral Machine, a platform gathering a human perspective on moral decisions made by machine intelligence such as self-driving cars. We show you moral dilemmas where a driverless car must choose the lesser of two evils such as killing two passengers or five pedestrians. As an outside observer, you judge which outcome you think is more acceptable. You can then see how your responses compare with those of other people. And if I'm feeling creative, I can design my own scenarios. I might do that, but most likely not on a uh, video. So, uh, what should the self-driving car do? This is an interesting thing that, um, that this poses. It's actually a very sexist kind of quiz, almost. It's like putting uh, people together. Um, normally, I know what I would say, but on something like this, I don't know, because they're both pretty much two seconds away from being dead anyways, because they're old. So honestly, I don't know. Um, her, I guess. So, animals versus, um, humans. Apparently the f animals are flouting the law. I don't really care about the law, screw the law, but human life is much, much more important than animal life, so... Goodbye, animals. So, um, next we have one baby, not sure why the baby is in the car against one baby, one female doctor, one male doctor, one large woman, and one female athlete. Obviously, we want to go with save the people, although this scenario here would destroy the self-driving car industry alone. But more people versus, you know, that's my reasoning and on this one. So, swerve. All right. So, two cats who are, again, not going, they're going against the law, but they don't know what the law is, so how can you flout the law when you're an animal? So, obviously, we're going to destroy the cats, because, uh, who cares? Um, a large man and woman against one man and one female athlete. Well, they're abiding by the law, which I don't really care about, so, um... Goodbye, fatties. Or one fatty. Um, nobody in the car. Two homeless people against one woman and one male executive. These people are disobeying the law, but these people are a lot less productive members in a society than these people. It's society's fault that they're there this, in this position, but um, a lot of people don't even try once they get to this point, so yeah, screw them. Alrighty, what's this? One boy, one athlete, one girl, one female athlete. Let's uh, destroy the girls, I guess. Uh, one large woman, one large man. 
with one large woman, one large man, plus one girl, one dog, one athlete. So this pe has more people, so obviously we're going to get rid of, um, you know, mathematics, basically. Um, just three against three, it doesn't matter. This one's probably the hardest one yet for me. Whatever. Uh, what should the self-driving car do? Well, four against five. Um, ah, uh, wait, no, it's five against five. So, oh, there's f four. So, yeah, we're gonna, um, take care of these guys. Because, uh, these people are more productive. Oh, homeless person against homeless person. In this case, I'm going to go with that the main thing about all this is the car is supposed to be, um, the car is supposed to be taking care of the passenger. So that's like one of the main things. Um, so we're going to go with this one. Now there's, there's a lot with, uh, nobody in the car. That's... This scenario should never be allowed. Um, one woman, one girl, two elderly people. Well, obviously, them. Because they're not going to live that long anyways. So, what is this? Two, four, five against five. Four athletes. And one woman against... Yeah, so obviously we're going to go with this one. I guess so. So, um, it didn't show me my percentage against the other people's. Usually that's what the videos I saw did, but now it's not showing me. Kind of be cool. But my age preference is obviously there. Protecting passengers does, it's about there. Saving more lives definitely matters. Upholding the law, uh, doesn't matter that much to me. Social value preference, it, yeah, that's very much higher. Avoiding intervention, um, that doesn't matter. Fit people, yes. Gender preference, no. Species, yeah. So that's that. Highest level education. I had some, uh, college, so other. And I don't make any money. What are your religious views? I'm about there. What are your political views? About there. To what extent do you feel you can trust machines in the future? Very little. To what extent do you fear that machines will become out of control? About there. How willing are you to buy a self-driving car? Very little. To what extent do you believe that our, your decision on moral machine will be used to program self-driving cars? Uh, a certain amount. Most saved character. Most killed character. Oh, sorry, cat. Saving more lives. Others. Me was a lot. Wow. Protecting passengers. Me matters a lot. But yeah, it matters more to protect passengers. It's, you're buying something and then it doesn't work. Like, eh. Upholding the law. Me? Really? I actually don't think it... It's, it really didn't matter to me. Avoiding intervention. Like, that doesn't matter to me, yeah. Gender preference. Like, right... 
I was like right in the middle. I expected it to be more on this side, to be quite honest, just to like be playing a joke. Me once again, yep, over in humans, everybody, most people I see does this. Um, age preference, really in the middle. Mine is more on this side, but I have noticed that this is random for everybody. The two people I saw to take this, it was very much random for this, for both of them. So it was random with me as well. So if I was given other situations, I would have probably had more on this side. Uh, fitness preference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was quick and that was painless and that was easy and that was actually kind of fun. That may be one of the most quicker videos I have on my channel. Anyways, I hope you guys all uh, enjoyed this. You can check it out here for yourself if I... I might have the link in the description. Um, and yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Love you all. Peace to you. And as always, stay safe.